Uh, it's pink. You know what that means. So, I think I got something confused in the past. Uh, I think I thought that you could play, in the main story there was side missions where you play as Mimiji. I think I'm wrong, I think you only play as Ayane in the story and later you can play as Mimiji if you want. As like a bonus thing and Kasumi as well. Come on, come on, move. <laughs> What's with that guy's desert scarf? I was going to say identical soldiers, but the one in the top right there just ruined it for everyone. No coordination. The fuck? The cloaking is down. This is it. What? There's just cloaking in this universe. Go on, get out there. How did they see her from there? You have to have excellent fucking vision to just turn around from the floor and go... Oh yeah, there's someone up there. It's a classic black narwhal created by the Pentagon for special ops. The contractor that won the manufacturing bid is Genesis Dynamics. They're actually a front for LOA military operations. It's in dock right now, ready to ship out any time. I'm glad the LOA just can She's a smart kid. Not a kid mom. Again, the trope. If you're a woman, you only can throw people with your thighs. If you ever throw with your hands, you immediately become a man. I don't mean the rules. I lingered for a second and tilted the camera a little and it was like... So it's fine to kill them, don't worry. That was literally that that line there. That line there was literally just so that some Americans aren't like, Oh my god, you're killing Americans! From the American military! Because it's supposed to be CIA. They're like, don't worry, it's LOA, so it's fine, they deserve to die. And it's like... You know? Kinda dumb. It's a dumb video game, doesn't matter. Uh, there was like a whole section, and it's not really ever went away, of like... There was a very specific era of video games where it was like prior to the zombie craze. I did it. It healed me. There was a very specific period of time just prior to the zombie craze where like the enemy of the week was always Nazis and it was like I always find it very funny that it's like oh you know it's okay you can kill them because they're Nazis <laughs> whatever <laughs> to be fair yeah like that was like pretty boring kind of dialogue <laughs> And then, of course, the Nazi zombies. It's fine, you can kill Nazis. And then there was a pu period of time in Call of Duty where it's, it's okay, you can kill them, they're Russians. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? And it's okay, you can kill them, they're terrorists. I want, I want the shiny. Oh, I have to go around. How that guy missed. Wow, this guy sucks with his rocket launcher. Now he's dead. <laughs> Just the relayering of man grunt dot <laughs> wav. Just <laughs> from like multiple angles because I keep hitting them. 
and they're the same enemy. What a weird job to have. Can you imagine your job is not to V8 just to make grunt noises as a man or a woman in pain, so you're just like, ugh. <laughs> That'd be a pretty cool job. It's up there with Foley artistry. Yay. Thank you for. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> you, you, you idiot. <laughs> Say thanks. Fucking dick text. Text made of dicks. They should put it in Comic Sans just to piss you off further. Heh, <laughs> you missed. I see, you're spamming. Mmm, and now you're dead. Don't know what that was behind him that looked like a turret, but it vanished the moment I hit him, so... zoom on him, I meant to zoom on the guy with the launcher. Why do I, when I was playing this, why do I get the sleigh bells jingling, ring ding dingling? Because I don't have the killer is dead virus. Oh, and he just, he literally just clipped into the camera. Hmm. Ah. I fucking hate fighting the enemies in this game. It's so unsatisfying, you know, because they just put their little shitty glow sticks in front of them and go, nah, uh, uh, that didn't count. Ding, 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 ding. And you can jump behind them, you can do all sorts of shit. And then the glass shattering sound appears and it's like, oh, my glow sticks don't have the magical block everything, even from behind property anymore. Look at that guy, he's fucking wrecked. He's like, wait, guys, wait. A poor man. A poor man is limping along. Look at him. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, now you're dead. Seriously, why, why have I got this? I don't have the grip of murder, so why am I ring ding dingling? See what I mean? You hit them from behind and they just turn around and go ding 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 ding. And now he gets hit. Oh wow. And now he gets hit because reasons. Hmm, I hope you like shipping containers. Now it makes more sense because he's got a giant like thing, right? Like he's got a thing in the way got his car door in the way like he's the Batman goon from Arkham City. <laughs> the bat. Ah, uh, luckily he had more things he could hide behind. Dead. I'm just checking some shit out. You know, if you fuck up for five seconds, it'll start screaming at you. You need to sense the proper path, you're bad at your game. <laughs> so. Can't linger for too long, otherwise, I'll be screamed at. What the hell did he just say? What she said.
So, you know the problem, the big problem Ninja Gaiden 3 has? It's kind of boring. Like, it, it's not as bad as, like, people, like, went ham on it in the day. It's not that it's bad, it's mediocre, you know? It's that kind of thing where it's like, it's a 5 out of 10, maybe a 4 out of 10. It's not doing enough that you think, wow, this is, what, like, hilariously bad. And it's not, like, t making fun of itself, or, like, just accidentally being a laughing stock because of the jiggle physics. I think this is around the same time that they started to move DOA into, hey guys, we're gonna try and be an eSports professional fighting game. And all the fans were also like, fuck off. <laughs> you know? So... It feels very much like the same problem DOA 6 got, which is like, you've got your fan base, you made it what it is, it's a sleazy fan base, what did you expect? And then going, no, we're, we're a real fighting game now, and it's like, I don't think anyone was really playing DOA, the DOA series because they, you know, took the fighting game mechanics seriously. Maybe there are a few, but like... <laughs> you know, well, that's what they told people, you know? Try and cover up the fact they just wanted to look at booby wooby girls. Oh great, I should go into the blue container. Hey guys, I'm an idiot because I can't go directly into a blue container and just no clip. <laughs> well, I'm just an idiot because I can't wall run anymore. There we go. Uh, oh, thanks. Thanks for hand holding me. Yay! <laughs> Product of their alchemy. As usual, your health is reduced to zero after two hits from these guys' two throws. And I just sit there and go, I don't care, I'm just auto guarding through this bullshit. Because <laughs> it's bullshit. <laughs> I don't like these guys. Also, the phrase product of their alchemy is fucking ridiculous. If you know what alchemy actually is. It's like, it doesn't work! <laughs> what worked became chemistry! <laughs> or other facets of science. Dumbasses. <laughs> Let me guess, they can turn any element into gold too? Why are you telling me to sense a proper path? I'm already fucking doing it. Stop telling me what to do. Oh my god. I'm just gonna run around and be an asshole for no reason. Oh yay, more. Yeah, I, I'm I I bitched like for like several parts of this LP about these guys. I don't talk much about the sneaky boys, because they're they're not really making much noise. They're just kind of sneaking around in the background, clipping into the containers. Big monkey guys are the problem, really. There should be a sneaky boy tier list. To be honest, sneaky boys in Doom were more annoying. In Le Doom Eternal. What she said. I literally don't know what she's saying. Just, just kill, kill them all. Yeah, dead. Oh, not dead. Oh, okay. 
dead and what a treat another one Notice how many times I hit them and it makes the cling, cling noise. Yeah, I don't think I'm hitting him. And it really feels like I I don't hit him whenever he just feels like it. There's no block animation. He just goes, I've decided I'm blocking now. Ding, 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 ding. And you're just like, what the fuck? How is that? It? You know, it's that little shit like that that really pisses me off. It's like, you've got to tell me why I'm clashing with this guy. Why it doesn't it count now, but it counted before. Also, what the fuck just happened? Did I just get bombed out of the air immediately? Ah, yes. Well, from off-camera spam of rocket launches. That's fun. Wow. Literally, I will calmly walk to the other side of the map and spam you with rocket launcher fire from off screen again. You came too close, I walked, I backdashed and started spamming my projectiles again. Jesus. His rocket launcher is also a magic shield. Ah, oh, never saw that one before. If this game gave you more opportunity to play, Like I said before, purple boys just appear, the pinky boys just appear, and you're like, they're like, why are they here? And they're like, oh, I guess they were researching them too. I don't fucking know. And that's, that's all you get. And you're like, oh. Punch that guy's dick. You see, these guys are never really a threat, because they're big, they have annoying moves, but their health almost always ends up going really quickly, because one of the limbs falls off really quickly, and then you just instantly kill them from that. So you're, they've never been a problem in any game they're in. Just like you hit them enough, and then eventually their arm just flops off, and you're like, oh, okay, well then I just press triangle. <laughs> ah, I see kick strong, exploding shuriken not strong. Why aren't you infighting? Infight! See what I mean? They just kind of go down pretty quick because you can just always slash one of their arms off pretty quick. And now he dead. <laughs> dead. Tick and force ass motherfucker. Burb. Can I go this way? No. Let me charge that move, okay? <laughs> you slowly shuffle in from stage right. Ah! Glad we couldn't have a single human non human fight without you spamming rocket launchers from off screen. <laughs> oh, he. Oh! <laughs> that guy got it hard! He was like, wait, wait. My, my head. Uh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Jesus. Unnecessarily brutal. Hey guys, if I'm overly violent, it means I'm mature. 
What's really weird is like Ninja Gaiden 2 was hyper violent and they lowered the violence and then like for this game there was no such attempt to lower the violence at all. So when you play Ninja Gaiden 2 on the 360 is just as violent as this is, if not more violent, uh, with loads of dismemberment and shit and beheadings and shit and then in Sigma they in the Master Collection they really censored it down. For this they were just like, nah, fuck it, no one's gonna play it anyway. Honestly, this feels like, you know, you always have that guy at work who just doesn't really get it. He's like the kind of guy who, you know, there's always this one guy, there's always that guy. It's like the guy who made me play Batman Arkham Origins because it's just as good as the same just as good as the uh, or other ones and people are just harsh on it. Uh, it's that guy who would be telling you, oh no, I like Ninja Gaiden 3 because it's got more violence in it, you know, like, it's just way cooler because you can, like, chuck, cut off everyone's heads. And you can't do that on the other ones because they're not as cool. And you're just, like, missing the point the gameplay sucks and actually 2 did have that. <laughs> like, it's like that overheard conversation in a game which is like the UK's version of GameStop or EB Games. It's that kind of thing where you're like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, overheard in a game. Hey, this DMC Devil May Cry is way better than those other dumb Japanese games. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. I need it to be color coded. I'm a fucking idiot and I need to be told how to combo and style switch. <laughs> this one's cooler because it has hit new band combo Christ on. And Dante looks like a fuckboy. <laughs> oh man. To be fair, one of my friends said to me, you, you should give DMC Devil May Cry a chance. And I was like, I'm fine, I will uh, give it a chance. I'm sure it has stuff in it that's fine. But like, he couldn't even get it running. Like he got the definitive edition and then he had like a pretty high level for the time, near the top range, like Nvidia, like game card. And for some reason, it just couldn't run Unreal 3 games very well. He had the same problem with Exard's sign. It just wouldn't load at all. It couldn't load. It just shat the bed. And he was like, oh, but it's really good. And I was just kind of like, oh, thank fuck. <laughs> Shame about Exard, though. Exard's sick. I think he fixed it, though. Doesn't matter. I have Rev 2 on my PS4. I can still make what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What am I doing? Oh, I'm going to check out Narwhals. <laughs> oh, it's doggos. It's jetpacks. It's literally Michael Keaton Vulture. He's going to team up with Morbius, guys. I'm sorry, dog, but you are biting me. He swung first, it's fine. Seriously, it's telling me to sense the path while I'm fighting and saying, You're shit at fighting, look, the enemy's over there, idiot! <laughs> Thanks. This area is reminding me of the Mistral fight. You know? get to the top of the tower and you fight Mr. Roll. Get out of the way, Michael Keaton Vulture. I'm on my way to fight Mr. Roll. <laughs> that was so flaccid! Haha! <laughs> Knees you slightly in the face. Wah. <laughs> and you're just like, oh. What a knobber! <laughs> what was the point of that exchange? 
Fucking hell. <laughs> you guys even here at this point? Jingling, ring, ding, dingling. Oh, you're alive. Oh. Apparently you're gonna be more of a problem than I thought. <laughs> ah, Vel. Dead guys in the corner. Burb. Kinda ruined my momentum there, dude. Why are you here? I thought you were soldiers. And now the edgy post grunge kicks in. I can't believe it's edgy post grunge. I mean, I'll always wait. I'll always know what you did last summer. This feels like the opening soundtrack. You know, the opening credits to I'll always know what you did last summer, this music. It really, really gives me that vibe. I might be off base, but like, I feel like that is what that is. You know? These guys are nowhere near the original plot. <laughs> but for some reason the fishing man's still pissed off. I don't even get why I'm fighting these guys or what the point is. We're just kinda here. I thought a cutscene would play after a while. It's, it's not though, so we're just kinda going with it. Where is this like the replacement for a boss fight? Like, was there supposed to be a boss? Oh, there's more dudes. Why are there fiends on this aircraft carrier? It's gonna make even less sense in a minute when the whole aircraft carrier is shown to be able to dive underwater. So, so what are these? Where were these guys hanging out? Just on deck? Are they part of the navy? Captain Fiend reporting for duty. Got his little Donald Duck sailor suit on. Seems like they're not endlessly regening, so I guess I just gotta kill these two more? Is there a boss after that? I feel like there's a boss after that. You lost the enemy, you idiot! <laughs> yeah, auto guard motherfucker. Fuck am I looking at? Look at my monster mash hands. Things just keep getting more disgusting. You're covered in green goo. No shit. <laughs> Sorry, there's something so weird about Ayani swearing. Oh. 
back breaker. It's, do you remember this boss? Now it's like, instead of fighting one and they change their hands, it's now just all three of them with all the different hands. Thus making that Gloria chick sacrifice even more dumb, because it's like, oh yeah, we could just have this. Which is just literally the same thing, but better. Because <laughs> there's... Well, I say better, I mean, look at this bullshit. It's like an action figure where they just go, you can change the hands. And they all look shit for some reason. Or it's like... Your friend bought bootleg Warhammer, and he was like, cool, this shit just adds to this shit, and it's like, it clearly belongs to two different models. It looks like that. I just put my Barbie doll's hands on my, like, Warhammer Chaos Eliminator, because I thought it was funny, and now it looks jank as shit. taking damage pretty quick, so at least it's that. Now, if I stick to you, maybe you die fast. There, you unceremoniously just kind of fell and posed on the floor for a bit and faded out like Doom 3 enemy. Yay! Let's kill Monster Mash over here. Friggin' Monster Munch. Look at my ridiculous monster munch hands. I can never hand model ever. But at least I can pick things up unlike Squidward over here. Please just die. There you go. Let's deal with sneaky boy. Sneaky girl, whatever, who cares. Huh? It go down. No. I throw this away. Hee <laughs> hee. And then she died. Oh, it's her. From the second game. No way. No Wait, way. You just watching us to keep us in check, or if you actually like give a damn. Like. In it, bro. A GPS transmitter. A little much for this operation, isn't it? I actually color coded the GPS transmitter to Ionai's outfit. Are you always going to be chasing us down? <laughs> the CIA is concerned. Oh. Allies or enemies. Your ninja. Just pay attention to the jiggle physics because they make no sense in this. I just, you know, I just want to help Rio. <gasps> Every female character in Ninja okay, Gaiden whatever. is just like hung up on just Ryu like fucking crazy. Sorry, Ryu's the only one I'm after. Oh, Sorry, shut up. You and Ryu. I know him better than you do, kid. You really don't. Holy shit, she really doesn't! <laughs> oh my god.